Welcome to Bahamas Educational Express. Science lesson in this video, lesson, learners will be able to mangroves. name the four kinds of mangroves in the Bahamas, compare and contrast the parts of the mangrove plants, and state why mangroves are important to humans and animals. Mangrove ecosystem. Mangroves are ecosystems found along the coast and in swampy areas with brackish and salt water. Let's look at the four common types of mangroves found locally. First is the red mangrove. Next will be the black mangroves. Third will be the white mangroves. And fourth will be the buttonwood. Each type of mangrove has a special role to play in the ecosystem. Let us first look at the red mangroves. Red mangroves live in water along the shoreline. They have thick, propped roots that trap debris and mud. They help to prevent waves from flowing inland and this helps to reduce flooding. Mangroves habitat. The mangroves habitat is along the shoreline and in rivers and lagoons in salty water. The roots of the red mangroves are thick stilts or prop roots and long slender aerial roots. The leaves are large, round and leathery and they are opposite. The flower is a yellow cream color and with four pointed petals. The fruit forms a torpedo like plantlets on the tree. Here we have the fruit, the leaf, and the root. Here is a diagram of a red mangrove habitat where you will see the animals are under the root, the prop roots. Next we will have the black mangroves. The black mangroves live in shallower, salty water. They are surrounded by thin breathing roots. Let us look at the habitat of the black mangroves. Habitat usually landward of the red mangroves in shallower, salty water. There are no prop roots. They are surrounded by thin breeding roots, which sticks out above the water. The leaves are long and thin with salty crystals on the back. The flower is white with four petals. The fruit is about an inch long and it is flattened. Here we have the fruit, the leaves, and the roots of the black mangroves. Third is the white mangroves. The white mangroves usually live in brackish water. They have thick, knobby breeding roots. Let's look at the habitat. The habitat of a white mangroves usually landward of the black mangroves in brackish water. The roots, thick, knobby breeding roots, no prop roots. The leaves, round, sometimes with pinkish stems, opposite two small bumps, or you may call it 
the salt glands as the base of the leaf. The flower, very small and white. The fruit, green and ribbed in clusters. Here we will have the white mangroves, the fruit, the leaves, and we will see those salty glands. The fourth mangrove is the buttonwood. The buttonwood lives near the sea on rocks and beaches. They have no prop or breeding roots. Let's look at the habitat of the buttonwood. It is near the sea or rocks or the beach or brimes, not usually in water. No proper breeding roots. The leaves long and thin, two small bumps, salt gla glands at the base of the leaf or the stem and they are alternate. The flower is very small and is in clusters. The fruit is also in clusters and has rounded heads. Here we will have the buttonwood, the flower, the leaves, and notice that they are more inland. Mangrove's ecosystem serves as an important source of nurseries and nutrients for young fish and as home to many animals such as crabs and the shellfish. In the Bahamas, mangroves are referred to as flats, swamps, and swoosh. Here is a red mangroves, crop roots, and you will see the animals under the roof and also the birds on top of the mangroves. Here are some mangrove swamp animals. Now let's see if we can remember how much we've learned from the lesson. We are going to play the mangrove ID game. Let's see how much you can recall. Now pause the video and see how many you can get right. Okay, let's see. Yes, that is the fruit of the red mangrove, the leaves of the red mangroves. Right, that's the roots of the red mangroves. Let's see if we can name another. That's right, the leaves of the black mangroves, the fruit of the black mangrove, and the leaves of the back mangroves. Great job. That's right, so now we're going to the white mangroves. That's the leaves. Can we name the fruit? Yes, that's the fruit. What about the roots? Yes, that's the roots. So the only one we have left is the buttonwood. So we know that is the leaves. We know that is the fruit, and those are the roots. Great job. This has been your lesson on the four kinds of mangroves.